humble yourself by the side of the Lord, He shall lift you up. Humble yourself by the side of the Lord, He shall lift you up. in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we, as we say goodnight to you, we are reflecting on the relationship between leadership and service. And we would like to share these reflections with you because whether you are in your family as a father, as a mother, as a husband, as a wife, as a child, or a workplace manager, supervisor, or employee, or in the church of the Lord Yeshua Jesus, one way or the other, you are influencing. And as a leader, it is important that you understand the critical importance of the relationship between leadership and servanthood. So this is what we want to reflect on before we go. We are reading from Luke chapter 22, verse 26 to 28. But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the leader as the one who serves. For who is the greater one? The one who reclines at table or the one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at table? But I am among you as the one who serves. You are those who have stayed with me in my trials, and I assign to you as my father assigned to me, a kingdom that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So as we are about to pray tonight, I want to remind you that great leaders are servants. If you are a leader, remember to serve. Leaders face temptation when it comes to wanting to be in the limelight and wanting to be in high places and no one wants to serve. Leaders fight this temptation, resist the temptation and serve. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. As a leader, we are servant leaders in the kingdom of God. And you need to humble yourself to watch how God just elevates you, makes you this great leader. The key word is humble. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Here are three things that we are saying good night with that we want to leave with you. The one is if you want to pursue greatness, if you want to be great, it starts with being a servant. Number two, there is a model of service. And his name is the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ is the ideal leader and therefore he carries the pattern of how we ought to serve. Let us emulate him. Number three, the kingdom of Yahweh Elohim is a kingdom that has heirs who are servants. If you are going to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Elohim, one of the attributes that you have to display every day is being a servant. We pray that as we humble ourselves by the sight of the Lord, as we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of Yahweh Elohim, that we truly will see this elevation every day of our lives. 
Humble yourself by the side of the Lord. He shall lift you up. Humble yourself by the side of the Lord. He shall lift you up. He shall lift you up. He shall lift you up. Humble yourself by the side of the Lord. He shall lift you up. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.